Hey, what's going on? My name is Alan. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this 3D rotation effect with any objects you want in After Effects using the cylinder tool. All right, we're in After Effects and we've already got our hero levitating and meditating in the middle here. And we're going to have these documents rotate around her to represent her victory against the day-to-day -day struggle of taxes and paperwork. So the first thing we want to do is create a new composition, which is twice the width of the current composition. In this case, it's 1920 times two. Press OK. And what we want to do is we want to place our documents, whatever we want, flying, rotating in 3D along this space. And this is what I made previously. So we're just going to delete what we created. And then we're going to drag this layer composition on top. And now we're going to search for the CC cylinder effect on the effects and presets panel and drag it onto our layer. And we can see that it already arranged it it ranged itself into a 3D rotation cylinder form and we can play around with the scale of this to match our hero a bit more. And now we want to play around with the lighting of the composition because we want to keep this flat lighting style that we have. And in order to do that, we go under the shading setting, turn ambient into a hundred and diffuse onto zero. And now we have this flat style. And in order to get it rotating, we want to go to the rotational settings and play around with the Y rotation. And you can also play around with the X and Z rotation if you want to have more of a tilt. So maybe something like this. And I'm just going to keyframe out the Y rotation. Let's give it a 360 keyframe. So something like this looks really good to me. And now we're going to have the documents fly behind our hero character here. And in order to do that, we want to duplicate our document and place this document behind the hero and also the floor layer I have here. And then we're going to change the render setting of whatever is on top to outside and the other one to inside. And now we see that these documents are flying behind her. And in order to create more of a sense of depth, we want to introduce some shadow into whatever's flying behind. So while having this selected, we go back to ambient and play around with lowering it to, let's say, 65 and that's looking good to me and in order to control the position of these documents we can create a new no layer and parent it to this no layer so at the start, we could have these documents fly up from the bottom. And then let's add some easing onto it and let's check it out. Okay, so I am fairly pleased with that. Of course, feel free to play around with the speed, the rotation and the amount of objects in the, um, in the composition. So I hope that was helpful. I can't wait to see what you create from this. Feel free to share whatever you made in the comment section and I'll check it out. Cheers.